and gave us directions to go somewhere. Now you know by the time the CD came out, it was already old. And, and, and it was so old we had to blow the dust off of it. Now we down here in Newburgh, and, and, and the road said, turn right. When you turn right, you saw the you know, gravel for a minute, then just came dirt. And, and, and so it, and it said turn right. So we got ready to turn right, and, and, I, and I remember Pastor saying, well, Mother, I don't think that's where we need to go. Here's Mother. Well, you know it said turn right, so we got to turn right. We go turn right, and there's nothing but mud over there. And his mother, I think I see it. Well, now this is the, 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 so what we're talking about. Alignment. There, there, there has to be a time. Now, and, 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 oh, there has to be a time. Well, we are aligning our lives with the direction God has for us because the GPS from the Lord is always current. You're never going to have an old GPS. It's always current. If he says go right, there's a road going right. i got to be clear about what he says. And too often we try to make our own path. We, try, here we want God to bless our will rather than adjusting our lives for his will. Come on, believer. We're trying to ask God to bless our will instead of realigning our lives to go in with his will. So this idea that I have offered, when, you, when we don't have some own peace, it's when we're out of alignment with God's will. Here was God's word. Here was God's will. And we know we did something contrary. We know we came to that person wrong. We know we responded wrong. We know we acted wrong. We know that. And we try to go through it. But yeah, I just had to give them a piece of my mind. You got to hold on to that piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to are doing something. Outside of his, this out of alignment. So it is not that God loves somebody more than others. That's right. It's not that God cares for somebody. God is no respect to a person. The people who are walking in the manifestation that God has for us are those who say, I'm just going to stand in alignment with his word. I'm just going to stand in alignment. I'm going to believe his word. I'm going to trust his word. I don't see any evidence of what his word working, but I'm going to stand on that word. Being in complete alignment. So if I want to know if this is the will of God, it's going to be in alignment with his word. So, it, so the, in other words, there's alignment for our assignment. Everybody has a, have, has a different assignment, and we just have to be aligned with that will. So we got to align our thoughts, align our words, align our beliefs with the word of God. Here's a second one. I love this one now. I love this one. How do we know if it's God's will? Not only does it align with his word. Here's the point. Watch this one. Now read this with me, please, together. Does it demonstrate our worth to God and God's worth to us? If it is God's will, it will always demonstrate his worth to us and our worth to him. How do you know that we have value to God? Look at the cross, it's empty. How do you know we have, we have worth to God? Because Jesus came through 42 generations and spread his, shed his precious blood. He was sinless, and he became sin, and the one who knew no sin became sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God. How do you know at this point that we have work to God? Because if you go to the tomb where they laid his body, if you cannot find it, he is risen and got up on the third day like he promised, and because he got up, we can get up as well. I don't care how down we are, we can get up because he got up. So the act so we have worth to God, and God has to have worth to us. He has that. Well, we talk about this idea. So, so let's talk about this. How do we know we have worth to God? Let's go back here. We said our declaration, something is this binding, something is decreed. Let's read this together. I declare I am special and extraordinary. I am not average. I have been custom made. I am one of a kind, keep going, of all the things God created, what he is most proud of is me. I am his masterpiece, his most prized possession. I will keep my held head high, knowing that I am a child of the most high God, made in his very image. This is my declaration. Can somebody embrace that declaration right now in the name of the Lord? And the reason we can declare that is not because of the value in our own view, but because God loves us and values us as well. 
We become his prized possession because we have value to him. How do you know about that? Does it demonstrate his worth to us? So even earlier, worship is talking about, I, I love you, Lord. I lift my voice and worship you. What is worship? So worship, so let me go back to this part. Look at this part about worship right here. I, I want to love this part here about worship. This idea about worship, worship comes from the Latin word that means worthship. Where we express God's worth to us. So when we are worshiping God, it's not even about just singing. It's about saying, God, you are worthy in my life. You are, at this point, I worship you because you are worthy, God. Let me make this clear. So uh, another way of looking at, work, at, at, at worthiness is the fact of when someone honoring him, honor. Honor means, basically comes from the Hebrew word, it carries weight. Carries weight. I remember we went to Erica, our oldest daughter's graduation, and we were out there, and I wanted to get this picture. And you know, because you, you know, sometimes you would never have, like, there, there'll never be this exact same compilation of people ever again in life, ever. Maybe more, maybe less, but never the same composition. So you had graduated. We are, we are, she's at Washington University, and clearly that her tuition money went to pay for all the snacks they had. Over here you had sushi, <laughs> and over here you had caviar. And you walk two more feet and you got a, 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 a steak bar. I mean, I never see, and, and somebody's every table waiting to make sure nothing ever runs out. Cook is just big, praise God. I mean, there's, there's one going over here. And as we're out there, I'm trying to get a picture with the family there. And she's talking about, Daddy, I got somebody I want you to meet. I'm like, yeah, 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 come on, here's a picture. I'm trying to, Daddy, I got somebody, I'm like, okay, I, I want you, y'all, you stand here, I want to get my hat right, Daddy. And so what happened, she was trying to introduce me to her boo. I wasn't interested in her boo. I was trying to get this picture because if boo won't be around, he'll be around after this picture. So the idea, but be, but because my opinion carried weight, she wanted to know what I thought about Boo. Now she got married to Boo. They down in Jamaica right now on the Saturday. Yeah, praise God. Yeah, hallelujah. We taking care of her. She had hit us up for money for one time. Oh, glory. So that you was so that so so that so the so, 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 so honoring means it carries weight. What I thought about her current Boo, not I love him, he's a wonderful guy. It will carry weight. Now the baby, on the other hand, we go. To a game. And here's the baby. Daddy, I want you to meet somebody. So I'm just kind of scanning the crowd. <laughs> I'm like, well, that one right there look all right. I said, it, it better not be. And the one I said, it better not be, here he comes. <laughs> so, and then, you know, and his thing, every man knows when you don't, you don't shake a man's hand like a fish. <laughs> Put something to it. I shake his hand. He's like, oh, dog. <laughs> <laughs> and he hit an Andrew on the side. What do you think? <laughs> I'm like, you know, you really don't know, want to know what I'm thinking right now. So they go on for a while. She goes to college down in Chapel Hill. This guy moves <laughs> down and gets an apartment there as well that I hear about in Chapel Hill that I hear about because I'm talking to her and he's in the background. And I'm like, two things. First of all, where is he living? And it better not, not, not better not be. It better not be with you. <laughs> and secondly, what is he doing down in the way? Well, the next thing I know, we get a video coming back in. He's going to be a rapper. He got a rapper. Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? And then my baby is on the couch in the video. Bobbing that head. I was like, I'm about to pull down that stronghold in the name of Jesus. I got some authority in Jesus' name. You got to go. You are not for my baby. You got to go in Jesus' name. Now, here's what happened. Now, let me just tell you. When I first prayed that prayer, he was there. But I kept on praying that prayer. I was in God. All I know now, I don't know where he is, but he got somebody else on that couch because my baby has bounced. What I'm saying was because the opinion weighs heavily. When we honor God, it is saying that God, what you want from me weighs heavily. I know I want this, 
But what you want from me is better than what I want for myself. And I'm going to put what I want beside, behind me, because I can get what you want. But whatever you want from me is better than anything I can think of that I can ever want in life, because your, your opinion weighs heavily. When I want office, too many believers don't have his word weighing heavily. Does the word have a final word in our lives? Does the Bible have a final word? To work, to, to honor him, is not just about saying, God, I honor you. It is saying now your word, your word, you weigh heavily. Whatever God says, I, I, I want to know your opinion. I want to know your heart. I want to know your mind. I want to know what you want me to do. And in turn, whatever it is, even if I don't understand it, I'm still going to go there as well. That's when we position ourselves for overflow in the name of Jesus. So the idea we have here, so here's the issue. We always come to a crossroads where we want to go our way or God's way. Isn't that right? And too many times we want to go down our way and then have God bless our way. Mm. Now, grace and mercy, now, too many times, we have been down some roads that were paid for a minute and became dirt roads. And God is gracious and loving enough to allow us to take a detour and get back on the right track. Now, here's what happens. Some folks are so holy. If they went down the wrong road, they're just going to stay down the wrong road. I went down the wrong road. I'm not going to turn away from it. No, you're stuck in the mud. The idea was that when we're going to have God's way versus our way, do what, does his word weigh heavily so that what he wants from me supersedes what I want for myself? So, so here's the last we have. So not only does this, does this demonstrate God's worth for us and our worth to him, but also here's our last one. How do you know if it's really God's will? Does it help us complete the work that God has for us to do? Be clear, every believer has work to do for God. And don't let somebody else's work cause you to think your work is not important. Everybody has value in the kingdom of the Lord. Amen, somebody. And we are the ones that have put up some things being more important than others. Just think about it, even in your own body. Even at this point with eyelashes, you don't even think about your eyelashes unless you go buy some. You don't even think about eyelashes unless you're down there and let some, don't, don't think about it, but let some wind come. And then all of a sudden, like, you be like, bleep, bleep. I, and, and I don't know, I, I don't know why folks got to get extension on everything. You know, maybe nails. But it, I was with this, with this, up. this girl has some eyelashes look like, 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 like a, I, I mean, and she's blinking, and I'm, I'm oh, whoo, like, so now we want, so, so the eyelashes, so that, but, but now, wait, 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 let me just tell you about what eyelashes, so we, we down here, and thank y'all for sending us down to the before down trip, it was beautiful, we down in Aruba, just chilling, I'm telling you, I got my book, I got, I, I'm right here on the beach, water's right there. Get, get, I got here when I, I found it. In the morning, you got to dip in the morning, go put your little towel down, get your space. I ain't know that the first day. I'm way back up under the hood over here. Everybody, so I got down early in the morning, got, got a little space for myself and my wife right there together. So we down here, and I mean, it was up under a little palm, ocean right there, got my book I'm reading, a little breeze going. And so I'm just as content. Well, five minutes after that, my wife just said, We ought to go see the tank. Well, Let's just take a little time show. The wind started blowing. Now, now the first of all, she had gotten her hair done before going there to the beach. Now, I'm not quite sure that's the best time to get your hair done. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. <laughs> then the wind is blowing. <laughs> and some sand came here. And, and that's a little hard. Her like, eyelash had a little sand up on that. That's a little hard. I was just, I, I was just glad to be down there. So I'm not still reading my book. Then we go in here and then we said we're gonna go over here and get to get we're gonna go on a dinner cruise. They're gonna go on a cruise. Now you can see the boat, you know, so something happened to swim back. So we're gonna go on, we're going on a dinner cruise. Well, I thought she had the tickets. I was supposed to have the tickets. So from here to where the mall is was where our room was. This thing is about to pull off in six minutes. Man, I pull a car loose so right there. I went and got my chicken back. And I'm talking, it's ready to pull off. And I'm, I'm, I, I, I made it over there. So we go out there. And a little breeze is going on. And she still got a little sand. I hear a little out of her head. So the idea was, so we want to say at this point that there are body parts that are more important. But again, you let some sand and some wind come up. Those eyelashes are, you're picky. 
Right now, you don't think about your pinky, unless you got all these little diamonds on there. But the idea was, with all these things we think that are not important, God says that's most important because you take care of those things, the other things will take care of themselves. We are the ones that have decided that some.